Welcome to this beautiful dome Airbnb. This place is seriously out of this world. So as of right now, the host has seven of these domes on this property. And each one is unique in its own way because it's decorated differently. And this Airbnb is located in a small town called Monticello, Utah. So you're only about a one hour drive away from Arches National Park and Canyonlands National Park, which are probably two of the most beautiful national parks probably in the country. And this dome is also located kind of up on the beginning of this mountainside, which gives you just some amazing views of the valley. So I'm gonna start this tour by showing you guys kind of the outside and the surroundings of this dome. So my favorite feature outside is probably this gas powered fire. And my favorite thing to do is just to sit out here at sunset and just watch the sun go down. It, you really have some amazing views of the mountains in the background. I believe the mountains way out there in the distance are actually some Colorado uh, Rocky Mountains. So it's really cool. And then behind the dome, you also have some more incredible views of the mountain range that this dome is located on. And then also outside, not too far from the uh, fireplace, there is a grill so you can come out here and do some barbecuing, make some hot dogs, some hamburgers. And then there's also a table out here so you can eat with a view. Another thing I really liked is that all the domes are really spaced out. So you have a lot of privacy and you're not really gonna run into anyone while you're here. And then as you first arrive, you have a really long private driveway, which is just a beautiful entrance. And then once you get closer to the dome, um, there's actually two parking spots. So if you have four people and two cars, you have parking spots for all of them. Okay, so now that we have gone over the outside and the surroundings of this dome, let's go inside and check out the amazing interior that this dome has to offer. So as you first walk towards the dome, there's this really cute uh, walkway or pathway with these uh, solar powered lights. So if you arrive at nighttime, you can actually see where you're going and then you come up to your own little entrance. So as you first come into the dome on the left hand side is where the bathroom is located. And in this bathroom, even though it is pretty off grid where we are, there's actually a full shower with hot water, which is super nice, especially since we're here in the winter. And you're also provided with everything you would need. Um, like you have your soap and your shampoo, you have plenty of towels. And this is probably the coolest sink I've ever seen. I really like the colors and I just brought a lot of vibrancy to this bathroom. I also really like this gold circular mirror that they have in here. It really makes the space feel much more open. And last but not least, if you're here with some friends, there is a curtain in the bathroom so you can close this curtain when you're showering or getting ready or whatever, just to have some more privacy. Okay, now let's check out my favorite part of this dome, which is just the main living space. So first of all, this living space feels so big and so open, like it doesn't feel claustrophobic at all in here. And you have these really big triangular windows which let in a ton of light and you have just amazing views of the entire valley. My wife and I personally really enjoyed sitting in these blue chairs that they have. They look like very luxurious and are very comfy as well. And it was really nice just to sit here in the evenings or in the morning and just watch the sunrise or the sunset over the valley. And then you also have these giant gold curtains that you can close if you want some more privacy or if you just want it to be a little bit darker in here. There's also this really pretty full-size mirror in this main living space, which also makes it feel a lot more open as well. So we are here in the winter, so it is super cold outside, but the host provides you with this really nice gas heater. And this kept us super warm and cozy throughout the entire night, and we really loved having this. And then if you're here in the summer, there's also an AC unit to keep you cool. And another quick feature worth mentioning is that all the electricity in this dome comes from some solar panels that the host has. So you're very off grid, but yet it feels very luxurious. Then also in this main living space, you have this really cute and comfy queen size bed. And I really like the backdrop behind this bed. So you have this really cool picture of this black and white bowl. And then you have this uh, white shiplap that runs across the entire kind of background or backdrop of this bed. It really gives you a bit of a farmhouse vibe, but it fits in really well with the overall modern and luxurious aesthetic that this dome has to offer. Another really fun feature is that you have these uh, touch controlled lamps that never get old turning on and off. <laughs> and then towards the end of this main living space, you have a table for four. You have four stools here, so you can come here with your friends. Um, this is where you probably have dinner once it's cold or hot outside. And you can also sit here and play games as well. 
And then as we come around this final corner here, there's actually a really nice kitchenette. So this kitchenette is complete with a coffee maker. You have a microwave and utensils that the host provides for you. And then you also have a mini fridge and a mini freezer for all your food that you might bring as well. You can really tell that the host put in a ton of thought into just how all the space was going to be used here. And speaking of space, if we go up this ladder, there's actually a loft up here with two beds so you can sleep more people. And if you have kids, I'm sure they would just really love and enjoy this loft area just because it's really fun up here. And a great part about the loft is there's this really nice and safe uh, railing up here so your kids aren't going to like fall or anything. But it's honestly big enough up here in this loft that even if you are an adult, um, there's plenty of room for you to sleep up here as well. Another feature worth mentioning is that even though we're pretty off grid here, there's actually really good Wi-Fi here. Personally, I wouldn't recommend being on your electronics while you're here just because there's so much to do around and the scenery is just beautiful. So this is actually called the Lakeview Dome. This is dome number seven and that's because you actually have a lake just down the road from here. So the lake is called Lloyd's Lake and you can actually go swimming in here or fishing in here. So if you're here in the summer, I bet it would feel great just to go down to the lake and take a dip. Or if you're into fishing, you can go down there and do that as well. And the host also put together a website just full of all the things there are to do around here. There's literally things to do in every direction here. So within an hour drive, there's like tons of just different national parks or historical sites. And so really while you're here, you're never gonna get bored. But it's almost like the dome is a vacation in and of itself. So personally, you might not even wanna leave the dome. <laughs> so overall, this is really probably the coolest place, and I think my wife would agree, that I've ever stayed in. And just to put the cherry on top, you can see so many stars at night. So it's really fun just to sit outside at night and stargaze. You can even sit by the fire at night as well, which is really nice. And the town that we're in, this town called Monticello, Utah, is such a small and quiet, peaceful town, and I really love staying here because of that. So if you want to stay at this dome or one of the seven domes that this host currently has to offer, um, I'm gonna have a link in the description below so you can book this Airbnb. And also, if you guys don't mind, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. It really only takes five seconds and it really helps out this channel more than you'll ever know. And also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I post different content there than I do on this YouTube channel. But just like that, this video is gonna be over and I will see you guys all in our next Airbnb tour. I really like the colors and I just brought a lot of vibrancy to this bathroom. Vibrancy? Yeah. I don't even know if that's a word. New vocabulary unlocked. Vibrancy? <laughs> Is that a word? The safety feature of the rails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's a really uh, nice railing up here. <laughs> Gosh dang it.